So with my Suzuki 2006 Katana 750, I have been suspecting that there will be flooding in an engine because my carburetor was not clean. And with that, I decided not to spend too much. I actually tried starting the bike and it would make that click and it wouldn't start. Um, so once I heard that, I took off the bike took off all four spark plugs and um, I can actually see from over here you can actually see fuel and if I put my finger here there's a lot of fuel in this cylinder but not in the other three of them so what I decided to do when I saw this really cool trick that I thought I would share with you guys is um, getting some sort of a long screwdriver or whichever comes in handy I found this old tripod leg uh, which I'm just gonna use and uh, this is to know if uh, because you start you try to start the bike so you don't know really if the connecting rod under the piston got bent or not and if it did then you're gonna have to open up the engine and do the big job so um, what I do is I get this long metal or what, whichever comes in handy and I just put it in the first cylinder and with the concept of the four inline cylinder bikes is that uh, you have one, I'll just call it one, two, three, four for now, but cylinders one and two, the pistons should be at the same height, whereas pistons two and three should be at the same height either here or here but they're always together so that's what we're trying to check today so I put it in I spin it a little bit just to make sure it gets to the piston and it gets into the hole once again all the spark plugs are gone of course and I just push it aside on the wall and I just mark the height and I pull it up so you see this little mark here and then I, I compare it to cylinder number four, which I do the same thing. And thank God the mark is exactly on the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's it's right there on the top. Um, so once you do that, so that means both pistons are the same height. Therefore, the connecting rods are not bent. Um, I, I remove this mark so I don't get confused. I put it in cylinder, say three. Jump it in there and then mark the same place, the height that I have, and then compare that mark to cylinder two. And it's the same exact height. So once again, this cylinder was really flooded. And I can actually, if I put my finger here, yeah, you see there's a lot of fuel in there. So uh, that's the piston that I thought would be ha would have a connecting bent connecting rod, but thankfully it didn't. If you ever hear that click when you're trying to start a bike, please don't 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 try to start a bike. You're killing it. You're basically making it worse. Just clean your carburetors. Make sure your uh, petcock is clean and it's not leaking. If it's leaking, then you just basically leave the bike sitting overnight, and you wake up the second day and it's flooded and if your overflow system in the carburetor is not working properly then your engine will be flooded which sucks so what I'm gonna do next now is to remove this excess fuel here is to actually prepare a lot of maybe I don't know napkins or whatever I can find to um, avoid splashing fuel all over the place and I'm gonna try to start the engine and um, to get all the fuel out of there once I just clean my carbs and just gonna put them back in and hopefully it doesn't give me any trouble anymore. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you I hope you find this helpful. Uh, leave any questions or comments in the comments section below. Uh, yeah, that's it.